Hey everybody, welcome back to the Genesee Brew House. I am Dean Jones, the brewmaster here. I am absolutely, totally geeked today to tell you about salted caramel chocolate porter. You asked for it, we listened, we scaled it up next door using my original recipe, and we're gonna go put it in the bottle for the next pilot batch series so you can buy it at your local store out in the market. Originally, this beer was a small handcrafted 20 barrel batch that was released only in Rochester with our Tap It Forward project. I mean, the salted caramel chocolate porter was developed like a cult-like following. Oh my God, people loved it. I mean, you couldn't keep it here. And we had two kegs of it, and. Ours were gone in five days. They keep asking, are you guys gonna have that? Are you guys gonna have that? Like, definitely, we're definitely gonna get that. That's the one beer that I always made sure that when I was done for the day, I made sure I sat down and had myself a 10 ounce glass before I went. I also have a list of uh, regular customers in my phone, probably 15 or 20 people that I have to text when it goes back on draft. Uh, it's mandatory that they get a text the day you know, we put it back on so they don't miss out on it at all. So, really excited to release the Salted Caramel Chocolate Porter. I got to go down to the South Wedge and hang out with Jennifer at Hedonist Artisan Chocolate, as well as pick up the chocolates that we were going to use in the full scale production batch. I got to hang with Jennifer for a little bit and really look at her process and find out what made her Salted Caramel so awesome. We use real vanilla bean and we don't use corn syrup and that's our big secret is um, we use a, a brown rice syrup and we use really heavy um, local cream and then very fine chocolate oh, neat. and really nice um, Florida salt so uh, really a chunky salt that kind of cuts your tongue so it gets the flavors in there. The chocolate that we use is a, is a high quality chocolate and it's fermented a little longer in its own fruit and its own pulp and that's where the chocolate gets its sweetness so a lot of times chocolate doesn't sit in its pulp long enough to extract the fruity flavors. So I just learned something new chocolate is fermented like beer. Yeah I, uh, didn't, and I said, did not know that so again, this recipe is a true English style porter. It is very, very dark. It's got a lot of roasted. It's got a lot of chocolate. It's got a nice medium hop flavor, uh, as well as some medium hop bitterness. That all comes from the East Kent Golding's hops. The malts I used were again, were the pale, the crystal, the roasted, and the chocolate. All blended in there to give it a nice, kind of really balanced chocolate dryness that you would expect out of a porter, uh, but then also tailored the recipe uh, to balance with this particular chocolate. So guys, this one's been long awaited, salted caramel chocolate porter. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, caramels actually do go with beer. Never trust a skinny brewmaster. I'm Dean Jones.